Onivia, League of Legends highlights. Just Talia into Yoning, to Lucian is so good at just checking them. Um, yeah, with true. Unravel Deer, so there is a lot of playmaking. Slightly dangerous with the fact that Peanut's proximity is so incredibly close. The Showmaker is definitely showing that uh, if you do unbind the soul, uh, you can definitely just uh, always land those charms. As Lucid's coming on in here, Doran does have that Mega Nar coming up, but it's a really good avoidance of that wallop. And okay, Nature's Grasp comes down, CC to assist just to go through the CC, and there's first blood. Still, Zekker is going to rotate in, and I don't think this fight is over just yet. Still, he gets underneath the turret and with Showmaker moving in. Looks like D Plus are going to get away Dragon. with it. Going to go over their way, and it is just the first blood gold that is in the back pocket of D-plus here, but I think it's setting up D-plus for a pretty fantastic lot of money, and a lot of money missing Yeah, and I uh, in this trade. Uh, we see Zekka moving over already. He needs to be here yesterday if he wants to prevent this play. Well, uh, Nabar is not in a great position, and the CC is just chained to high heaven. Zekka moving on in now as Showmaker wants to land this charm, but Zekka is going to ult his way. Evolutions go this shiv. It becomes really difficult, so D-plus don't even opt to contest the dragon. They go towards a Herald. Instead, you can see aiming in Kalan's position. Like, Viper's permanently up in the lane. Just those couple of kills under Doran. That is kind of it. Uh, Showmaker wanting to take down this turret if he can. Needs uh, one more auto. There we go. It's going to be onto the Aphelios, and he might have to go home. Yeah, this this is a true pacifist game where they don't fight because someone on oh, D-plus gets chunked. And now, Showmaker's lost all as well. This is really bad for them. Yeah, Charm is going to connect here onto Zekka, who does lose a decent amount of his health bar, but they're going to have to give this up. It's just not going to be an option. This turret is also going to fall. That is bad news. It's now Viper is just happily farming in this mid lane at the same time. Humalife Esports get exactly what they're going to be dictated by Humalife Esports. As now Peanut, he'll press the Nature's Grass button and now look for an opportunity to go in. Kellen is going to the Kales himself. That is actually the right call here, as Lucid happily able to tank things up. Now Showmaker moving in on the flank angle. Cease and assist comes down. They found their target as Zekker is in trouble, but he's ulting. He is going to get himself out. And D-plus now have to work out who else they can kill. Peanut might be the target they opt in for, but he's just going to Bramble Smash Flash, and they're able to take down Kingen. Humble Beast was playing this out so incredibly well. Orbit Deception flies down. Moonlight Vigil is decent. But it is not quite good enough as Showmaker looks for the backline. He finds Viper, who then dashes forward. It's aiming that's able to cut him down, but he dies himself. It's a double, though, in the end, as now Lucid going down low. And Doran getting some revenge here onto DK. The Nah does come through, and it's a triple. Just welcome back to the game, Doran. The difference made by Zekka surviving there and being able to TP back. This does feel like one of those games where you've just got if there's, there's like an agreement from both teams, we're going to be 5v5-ing as, okay, Tidal Wave going to be avoided, and now the turret just goes down. Delight just booped over the wall, as now Viper by himself. He's going to get taken down oh! so incredibly low, but there's still a massive ulti from Zekka. The answer is still there for D-plus, though, as Lucid just punches the Lucian. And they are going to be an angle. Showmaker collecting some cinders as the Drake is going to get picked up here, and if Harmalife Esports don't like this, they can just back away, but it looks like they're not going to do so. A showmaker taken down. That is going to be a huge cease and assist on to Viper, but the ulti into the back line is just as good. Both of the carries just immediately wiped out. Delight in trouble, but Kingen has no damage. He's not going to be able to get this one done. It's Doran able to lock down the last remaining kill. Broken shield, at least. Uh, but yeah, uh, oh, Lucid. He might start. Yeah, he may. Cease and assist going to come through here as there is the knockup onto Showmaker. Wow. He misses the charm and just gets chopped up by Zekka. Not sure about this one, and it feels a little bit like D-plus have ran out of steam in this moment. Infernal Soul, of course, is so incredibly powerful. The fact that Harmalife Esports just kind of cruised towards it as well is really dangerous. Is Doran? Not sure about that. I don't know really what was uh, going it's on zoning there. Old, zoning old. Yeah, definitely zoned. Did a bunch of zoning. As now, the ultimate going to come through here from Peanut as well. There's the Flash Twisted Advance. Really wants to take down Aiming. Not going to be able to do so just yet. Lucid, very tanky, is able to take out Viper. And now Zekka, he's at full health. So he is an absolute monster. It doesn't matter that they've lost the Lucian because they still have this Yone who is just so incredibly huge. Three dead on the side of D+, and so these inhibitors are sure to follow. And maybe with this Baron buff, they're going to be able to push through for even more. Aiming is still up, but I just don't know whether he's going to be able to do too much here. Showmaker showing back up again, though. That should be enough. As look at all these cannon minions. There are five. 
yeah. lining up to take down these turrets. And to be able to take the first one is uh, Peanut. It's going to be difficult for him to be able to get out. His tidal wave just sails by majestically. It's a great charm to connect there as King in. Not quite as tanky as he otherwise could. Oh, wait, maybe he is. Never mind, he is. Yeah, I mean, just all those cannons, the Nexus Tower ends up to going. Game two. Honestly, I think ideally you don't even ever take the Elder and you just force D plus to contest it and then never let it come down to a flip, you know? Yeah, just For take the Nexus instead. Yeah, I think that's a better option. I think the only way D plus actually win this game is if they steal, if either Honor Life to make a humongous misplay or they steal that Elder. So, looks like they're just going to get some Whoa. down here. Um, yeah, Viper's angry at Lucid. Just took half of his health bar there with that was one little combo. Personal. That's that's a bit ridiculous that he has been targeted so much. Show me wow. you're not able to find him. The sidestep just gorgeous as the tidal wave almost takes down Showmaker here. He makes it to the fountain. It's good bubble on the King in to stop that follow up. Aiming is still at full health though. Has decent guns for this one as well as into the back line goes Zeka. Doesn't find the Aphelios, but still able to cut down this Udia Peanut. Not a lot left in the tank though as far as that health bar. So D plus creeps. There are so many of them just cascading up these lanes. As King, and he's not going to be able to hold on to it by himself. Still, he's teleporting in. They're going for the flip. As now Lucid wants to get over the wall. He is going to be able to do so. But there's another two-man ulti from Zeko, who finds yet another angle. Aiming now, having to deal with Doran. Will get stunned up. Not into the wall. Thrown around like ragdolls. And D-plus, they went for the last ditch effort. But it is only Lucid left standing. And Viper gets his final revenge. That is going to be the Nexus Tower falling down as well as Doran wants to get out of this game as quickly as possible. Look at these supers. And that is going to be that. They even take the Elder just to celebrate. A pretty powerful combo. Yeah, I mean, there's so much dive threat on this composition. And it's not a really nice roam there from Delight to set that up. Yeah, now he's back in this lane as well. No harm, no foul. Still going to be a decent advantage for Aiming and Kellen as Doran continuing to have a rough time as Kingen just going to slice him up. That's a solo kill. Welcome back, Kingen. It's good to have you here. And uh, Doran is, yeah, he's just having a rough week this time around as Lucid is going to be able to secure his uh, Raptors. Nearly uh, misses on to Viper. Bit of adrenaline, you could imagine, as now Lucid gets the flash off. That's just not spell shieldable. They chain the CC gorgeously. And Peanut is just going to be eradicated. And now, is this another one? King in as the Q is going to miss. Will we have a slice and dice? The answer? This was a while ago as well. Yeah. I feel like there, there is just some people in the depths who just have this is what they play every game, and that's yep. what they do. As there is the flash forward. Paranoia comes down. Peanut looking for some revenge, and he'll get it. As now, once again, a little bit of aggression onto Showmaker, but this time he lands the seismic shove, and Zeka not going to be able to find too much into this 1v1. And Humble Life Esports doing it again. Uh, this is going to be second Drake going on over. It's going to be a cloud and an ocean. And we'll see what soul it's going to be. Mountain soul here, though. So I don't think that they're going to be able to defend this turret. Um, yeah. Shock horror, I know. Uh, but Kingen is going to be able to just take that one down there. Uh, still has Call the Meek, so is otherwise going to be fine. Peanut going to be spotted on this ward as in comes Lucid. Peanut can, of course, get out the Spell Shield, but this is going to be dangerous. Great crash down from Delight as the Paranoia comes on through. There's the Slice and Dice from King, and though gets on top of Peanut, but it's a trade of junglers. And meanwhile, Doran just trying to get back to the rest of his team. Unfortunately, King, and he finds a big Call the Meek but it is not enough to lock down a kill and the crocodile is turned into a handbag right when the Drake has spawned. 30 seconds, he does have to win. Uh, where Hon Life is Oh, oh dear. He is gonna try and get himself out of here. That is a decent playback. The hook was okay too, but he is just dead. Yeah. Viper getting a third kill. Um, certification, I think, is being threatened right now. Is that tiny Vault Breaker enough to get Lucid out of the way of the charm? So he's going to be all right. As well as D+, plus, being able to get Kingen into the right position, stay grouped up, get the target selection working out as Delight on a good flank angle for this Magnet Storm. They are grouped. There's the Paranoia to start this one off. As in he goes, finds the back line, finds four. That's going to be the Mountain Soul as well. Delight taking a lot of damage, but aiming as well, getting chunked down. All out from Doran. He wants to be able to kill the Jinx, and he does so. That is the job done. The hook going to come through from Kellen, but he is just going to die immediately afterwards. And D+, I mean, they gave it an honest crack, but it just didn't work.
the dis losing the fight. There's no running away and getting everyone out. You just start losing members left and right with a reset potential, with a chase down from all the mobility. Oh, Showmaker. Yeah, Zeka is going to find the charm there. Absolutely gorgeous. He had to go in, try and find some sort of attempt at a pick or a steal or something, but uh, just not to be the case. Is now King going to give him the thumbs up. And he knows he's not going to be able to get in there. It is still going down pretty low as Lucid. Can he get the steal? The answer's no. Peanut blocks that one down. And now Kingen does find a huge Culver Meek, but I just don't know whether it's going to be enough. There's the first kill, though, for aiming. There's Peanut taking a lot of damage. The Zap connects onto Viper, and that will slow him down. But Doran is just a brick wall. And Zekka, he has not a lot of mana, but he still has enough to get himself over this wall. And Viper is going to help lock down Lucid. Aiming now trying to... Is he doing any damage? The answer's no. Uh, and it's a double as the ace comes in and Hummer Life Esports. I have a feeling we are moving towards a 2-0 here, Ox. Yeah, uh, I think that looks like the direction we're going. This you did be mention that, uh, you know, the script writers had gotten a little bit lazy towards the end of the season. Um, yeah. And I didn't want to believe you. And so have I, because I mentioned that yesterday and I mentioned it again today. I know. I my narratives. Well, there's a cease and desist. Zekka is taking a lot of damage. There's Dominus involved as well. So 800 gold going over to the Renekton. And now Peanut could be in trouble. Is going to try and fear Lucid, not actually going to come on through as Showmaker is just surfing his way down. Doesn't find the flick back onto Peanut, who is just walking, 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 walking. Super Mega Death Rocket going to come on through there as well as Lucid is going to get a little bit scared. He was very tanky, my goodness. But uh, they do manage to take him down. So that is going to finesse. It was just, I have this champion that has this utility and I'm going to utilize it. And it's happening once again, although now is uh, in potentially a little bit of trouble. Doran does have access to the anti-CC. That is going to get him out of the flick. Hook going to connect this time around, though. He needs an extra few of those. And he is going to get thrown back now. Cease and desist as Doran once again going to get caught out. But the same thing's going to happen to Kingen. But he gets to turn into a giant angry crocodile. So it's just going to be the ultimate that he invests. And now, four versus five. For this Elder fight, Hummel Life Esports, I think they still need to try and go for something. Paranoia still up and available, and Viper is still absolutely terrifying. There's a Magnus Storm into the back line. As you can see, the Jinx is the main character of this one, but he is going to get Fee, and Peanut gets on top of him. And it's a 4v5, guys, and still Hummel Life Esports are winning. Viper is going to take down Lucid, and it is an absolute disaster once again for D plus Kia. This Elder is going to belong to Hummer Life Esports, and Showmaker can only watch. And even then, he may have to do so from the Death Chamber as Peanut looking to get his revenge after a thumbs up is thrown his way. Yeah, so well played. Uh, and even, I want you to watch Kellen and the, the play he makes in the team fight itself. We weren't going to see it. No. You, but he did this fantastic play, disengaged the light perfectly. To pick up uh, all the parts of Exodia, but we do have them back to back in this one. Damage dealt even between both Zekker and Viper. Both of them having great games. And I think I might be a... If, if I was a, a, a voter, yeah. I might be a Boom Boom Damage voter. Yeah, could could well be this game. Oh dear. Maybe I'm media as well. Maybe we're all media deep down. Deep down. Sometimes you just see the big number. You see Viper playing Zeri. You're like, yeah, my brain likes this. You see that? Yeah. You no, know, my brain's like, yeah. And that was also uh, pretty massive in that particular moment. As, oh, goodness. The Wrath of the Dragon coming on in here as Peanut is going to take down Kellen. There is the kill for Viper, who's looking for even more. Peanut grabbing himself a double in this fight at the same time as Delight is <laughs> having, a, having a fun time throwing himself into the fountain. They'll take down these Nexus turrets. <laughs> he just wanted to kill Aiming one last time. He really did. Uh, just being the cavalry as there's the flash on forward. It's a triple in the end, I believe, for Peanut. And Showmaker actually having a bit of a, a grin on his face at the end of that one. Nothing much more he could do.